I'm Joe Gonzalez from Century 21. You're you, and this is Fiduciary Fridays. Last week, Janet Kalilo won a $25 gift card for sharing the video. This week, share this video, and you will be entered in to win a $25 gift card. This week's video is inspired by Jen Bork up in Nova Scotia, close to Halifax. What's up, Jen? You asked me what to do before listing your house, and today I'm gonna to go over some things you can do. One of the things that came up, should I redo my roof before listing my house? This is an interesting question and it all depends. It depends on a few things. The first thing we're gonna look at is, is your home in a purchase price where a first time buyer is gonna be buying your home? It's important that you do major improvements to your home, such as redoing your roof if it's needed, upgrading your furnace, upgrading your air conditioner, and upgrading your windows. These are some major expenses for first time buyers. When you make these improvements to your home, a first time home buyer is able to purchase the home and not worry about additional expenses after. I've also been asked, should I paint my house before listing? Should I renovate my kitchen, my bathroom? Everyone says kitchen and bathrooms are important. I've been asked, should I put in granite countertops? Let me answer some of these questions. A lot of buyers, the first thing they do when they buy their house is paint it. So should you paint your house? Well, this depends. What are the colors of your house now? Did you paint your bedroom funky green, pink, purple? If you've got some funky colors in your house, maybe it's a good idea to neutralize the house with some neutral colors. But if your house is already neutral colors, it should be all right. A lot of people have asked me, should I update my kitchen? Should I update my bathrooms before listing my house? This all depends. One thing to consider when doing improvements to your home is your taste might not be the same as the buyers looking at your house. You could spend 20, 30, $40,000 renovating your home and make improvements that the buyers isn't even interested in and will redo those renovations. One thing you don't wanna do is over improve your rooms. You don't wanna over improve your kitchen or bathrooms or your house overall. It's important to know before starting your renovations, the price range of houses selling in your area some areas it's not going to be worth it to spend a lot of money in your kitchen or in your bathrooms there's cheap affordable fixes that I can help you with to improve the look of your home your kitchen your bathrooms without spending thousands of dollars putting in granite countertops or spending money that buyers may not be interested in so some important things we learned here is before you do any improvements to your house give me a call on my cell phone text me on my cell phone hit me up on Facebook like my Facebook page, like my Twitter account, tweet me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, give me a call. We'll talk about what improvements you can do to your house so we can avoid making some big mistakes. We'll make sure that you don't over improve your home for the area that you live in. We're gonna make sure that you don't make any improvements that buyers aren't gonna like, and that if you do choose to do any improvements, we're gonna do the ones that are gonna appeal to the largest buyer pool so that we can get you the most money for your home. This was another Fiduciary Friday with Joe Gonzalez at Century 21. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.